Right on cue, the dog barked. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I am here as usual on Monday morning with my social media strategist, Kim Vanderpool. And we're going to combine today, right? Because really, I think it's kind of always combined marketing and mindset or mindset and marketing, right? Getting the guts to get out and show who you are on all these different platforms. It's a matter of how do you decide? Right. Where to be, where to put your efforts. Oh my God. I am telling you, there are so many things coming out with clubhouse now and then reels and there's, it's just constant, right? So let's talk about how people decide what to be on and, and where I think I put the description as should you leave social media? So let's talk about that first. Okay. Well, yeah, that is a great one because as someone that works in it, I hear it quite a bit like I'm done with Facebook. I'm just getting off of it. And especially with this political and the COVID and everything that's been happening, it's very easy to get overwhelmed on social media. So I'm not going to deny that. What I'm going to say is if you want to leave, if it's bothering you that much, leave. But then you have to step up. A step, take a step back and ask yourself, why are you on it? If you're on it for a business purpose, you're, that's still where people are at. And it's still, yeah. for most people, unless you're outsourcing it and hiring someone to help you, it's, and even if you're doing that, it's still a relatively inexpensive way to get in front of your ideal client. Um, yeah. I mean, I literally, I, I get a lot of people who say exactly what you said in the beginning. I'm so done with Facebook. I'm done with the politics. I'm done with this. I'm done with that. I'm just sick of it. I'm turning it off. And I'm like, okay, but you're an entrepreneur and you are in charge of growing your own business. You're in charge of your own visibility, your own marketing, your own profitability. It's all up to you. And if you're not going to take advantage of something that is free, whether you like the politics of it or not, to me, it's just a matter of learn to put your blinders on and remember exactly what you're using social media for. And if you're using it to help you grow your business and fill your pipeline, then, you know, I'm bad like that. I'm like, suck it up, buttercup. You know what? Yep. Just stay. I know I'm, I'm, I'm brutal like that because I will go to my homepage and I will just scroll down and I will ignore everything that pisses me off. And I will participate in anything that I feel is positive and helps with my visibility and just, you know, commenting on friends and family stuff, of course, also. But then I remember, why am I here? I get a ton of business from using Facebook, Instagram, now TikTok, uh, which I haven't started getting business from, LinkedIn, right? All the different areas. I wouldn't be on them if my focus wasn't to, to get more visibility, to let people know that I can help them. So analyzing why you're using it to me is key and stop complaining about all this stuff that you can't control anyway. Correct. Correct. Cause no, right I'm, now, I'm cut and dry with this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, Facebook is still Facebook. It's still it. It's still where people are watching us right now. It's still where people are going to connect with family, connect with friends. And that's where the audience is. I think it's like 85% of the Americans are on Facebook at some time. And Right. You know, and listen, listen, you can't help people if they don't know you exist. If this is a way for people to know you exist, then that's the way you have to look at it. Period. End of story. Not even looking at it like marketing or sales. Just like this is where people can find you if you yeah. on a regular basis are sharing what you can do for people. Correct. Yep. And you're not, to, to be honest, if we leave Facebook, we're not hurting Facebook. Like, right. it's like right. we can throw a temper tantrum like a two year old. And, yeah, we have a right to stand up and a right to, um, you know, do what we believe. But then stop and really think about like it is not it's not a, a lot. It's it's not it's a thing. Facebook is a platform. It's a thing. It's not intending right. to make our lives better hell. <laughs> Sorry to say, right. but it, right. it, it's a thing. And if, you know, and a tip, if you're using it as a consumer and you don't like what you're seeing in your feed, unfollow the people that are in your feed. Facebook will show exactly. you the people that you want to see. And so um, that is something that a lot of people are doing. It's just unfollow the people that aren't speaking your language right now. And then one thing I do ask myself is what 
greater impact can I have? What kind of things can I share that's going to be for the good of mankind type thing? It's I like, love that, Kim. I love that because, I mean, I use my personal Facebook page for many, many things, right? And one of the things, though, is I want to try to make people laugh. Right. right. I want to try to make people laugh. So I'm always posting on my personal Facebook page, little cute little memes, you know, answer this and that. And it's fun. And I try to keep my personal Facebook page to more fun. Right. And then once in a while, I'll feed in something related um, to business. But yeah, what you're saying is you can unfollow, you can unfriend, you can control what you see. And then if you're not utilizing it where it's having any type of positive impact on your business it could be because you're not using it properly for your business, or it could be that you're just being stubborn and acting, you know, like, I right. don't know. Right. Well, and then we underestimate the power of the good that we do do. So an example is someone local had taken a picture of their daughter at Cherry Berry. I had maybe been there once and it's like, oh, I never thought about it. It's like, oh, I have my grandkids. So what I did was I saw that picture on Sunday and Monday we went to Cherry Berry for an adventure and the kids loved it. But I wouldn't have done that if I wouldn't have seen her daughter at Cherry Berry because I wouldn't have remembered. And so that's the yes. power you threw. A, I think you had a picture of the snow yesterday with, with Millie, the backyard or whatever yes. that didn't inspire you, but it was like, Oh, Nancy's got snow and I don't, you know, <laughs> but you impact it. And so we underestimate the value of the connections and the impact. I, I don't even think I commented on your page because I didn't want you to like, there's Kim again with the snow. So I kept no, my opinion don't do that. But I kept my opinion to myself, but you did impact. And so I think as business owners, we do have a responsibility to impact our communities and the people that are in our sphere. And so when we use social media from that lens, it can make a big difference, not only in our personal lives, but in our businesses also. It's a great outlook. You know what? How can you enhance other people's lives who actually might hit your personal page or your business page or in the group? How can you impact them in a positive way? If you look at it that way, that will clear all kinds of clutter from your brain. And stop worrying about what everyone's thinking. Just try to make a positive impact. You know, here's the bottom line, which is why this is mindset and marketing today. When you make a positive impact on someone else, they remember you. Them remembering you, part of that is going to be remembering what you do for a living. And when they need someone like you with what you do for a living, they will think of you. So it's just coming into that people want to be surrounded by positive, happy people who are enhancing their lives not draining their lives. So be one of those people and eliminate those on your list if it's bothering you that are not positively enhancing right. your life. Period. Yeah. End of story. You have control. You have control. Yes. yes. And <laughs> if you feel you don't have control, go take a walk and come back. <laughs> right. So, And now let's talk about which ones you should be on, right? Because there's so many. And now with the introduction of TikTok's been around for a while now, but still it's fairly new to a lot of people. They haven't dipped their toe into it yet. And now there's Clubhouse, which I see a lot of people talking um, about um, whether they should be on it or not. And let me tell you, that Clubhouse can suck up hours and hours and hours. I, I mean, like before you know it, it's five hours later. And what have you actually done with the information that you've learned there? Right. And that's what you would need to ask about every platform. Clubhouse is a new shiny object, but every social media platform. So my go to answer is Facebook is a given. Sorry, people. That's where people are at. Facebook yes. is being used like the yellow pages. Like that is where people will go to find out your hours. They're going to find out, especially now if you're open or if you're only doing virtual consults. That's where they're going to go probably even more than your website because they might not know your website, but they're on Facebook. So they're going to search you. So everybody, whether you're actively on Facebook or not, you need a Facebook business page. It's a no brainer. The other yeah. platforms is where are your people and who are you trying to attract? So are you trying to attract clients? Are you trying to attract more vendors to work with? Or are you wanting to be a showcase to your colleagues or what what is your goal and where are your people are what you need to really ask yourself as far as deciding what platform clubhouse is great 
Um, I went on it and I got a little, I got really overwhelmed. It's like, I don't even know who to go and what I personally, at this point in my life, I don't really have the time to sit and listen to everybody else's chatter right now. But if you do, um, I was looking, doing some research, um, last night about clubhouse, like, should I have my clients be on it? Should I recommend it or not? If you're a coach and you are looking for new clients, new customers, um, I know interior designer, I think I saw a question in your group right uh, today about it. Should you? Yes. If you have your rooms, oh, I think where people are, um, they have some of these really, really huge rooms where it's a lot of noise and you just listen to basically people tell you, talking to you. But if you can get into some of the smaller rooms and more of the niche rooms, that's where I think the key would be is if you're going to be on Clubhouse. And then set a timer. I recommend setting a timer for all social media platforms. Me too. <laughs> because I can be doing engagement for a client and we're committed to doing 10 or 15 minutes a day engagement. And all of a sudden I look up, it's an hour, two hours later. And it's like, whoa, there went my day. <laughs> so yes. knowing, you know, setting a time, but really understanding where is your, where are your peeps? Um, and then knowing what your goal is for like Clubhouse, for me, would it be to be finding new clients? Eventually, maybe. But right now it would be more of a, a personal, personal learning, goal. a learning yes. platform for you. Yes. Another learning platform, right? We're already so overwhelmed with so many learning platforms. But listen, yeah, TikTok um, Clubhouse is a great place for me to be, to be doing more of this, right? right. If we were doing this conversation on TikTok, we'd bring people up to the stage. They would be able to ask questions and get answers from us, which... By the way, we will do at some point. I already talked to you about it, right? At some point, we want to get on TikTok and we want to host a room where people can ask us questions. Um, but it takes time for us. Uh, we have to make time in our schedules also to do this so that it's helpful for people. I'm not going to just go on to Clubhouse and just create a room if it's not going to be helpful to people, right? Right, right. And when I was looking at the interior design comment this morning in your group, and after the research, it's like, oh, Nancy and I really could do a clubhouse and provide value because we would be able to offer. And so I think it's like, does it provide value and the time? But don't feel like you need to be on clubhouse because everybody else is on clubhouse right now. Or, right. you know, or that TikToks. And this will go into our next topic we're going to talk about. I think reels, weren't we just a few minutes? Like, a yeah, like there's updates daily. Here's the, here's a, you know, rolling into the next subject. It's so easy to get sucked into the latest and greatest shiny object or the changes that are being made, but we want to focus on changes that are going to enhance our business. So for coaches and consultants who might be watching, yeah, I think TikTok could, um, clubhouse could be a great place for you to to gain and social media and website designers. I think it's a great place for you to pull people, answer questions and get potential clients. But let me just go to interior design for a second. Interior designers are people going to clubhouse, residential homeowners or commercial um, owners going to clubhouse to hire an interior designer. Not that I've seen yet and I've been all over clubhouse, right? But eventually could it be like that? Maybe, but for now, to me, it looks like another platform for business owners to learn from experts. And right now that's all I see it for interior designers and, and to, to get together with like minds with other designers and talk about the industry. Um, but you also want to keep up on the latest and greatest of what Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and LinkedIn are doing. So you have an update on something related to Instagram and Facebook. Right, right. Last night I read that Insta or Facebook is going to be allowing you to share your reels to the Facebook platform. So, oh, this so if you film it on Instagram, you'll right. be able to share it on Facebook. Yes. Which, Jeez. if you're doing reels, anytime you have content that you can share across the multiple platforms, you save time and energy and you're making good use of your time. And so if you are someone that does reels, keep this on your radar because that's a great way to get cross platform is it's a super way to do that. Even like um, with you doing TikToks and how we can take the TikTok and then bring that into your reel. And then um, so the, the beauty of social media is that you do the TikTok. I can help you get it into reels. Then we can take that copy that 
of, from what you already spoke. And then we can create a cute graphic so that someone could share that. And so that's that beauty of that content. Ah. That so we don't need to keep recreating that wheel when it comes to social media content. So if you did the reel or did the TikTok, do the reel, and now we'll have the potential to share that reel to Facebook. And that's the beautiful thing about cross platforms. Yay. Okay. So right now I'm doing TikToks. I just started. So anyone who's on TikTok, go look me up. Is business coach Nancy? I think I'm on TikTok. Um, and yeah, we are starting to then I share it on Instagram stories and then you take it and share it in reels and then shortly reels will be able to be shared to Facebook. Well, that's content reuse, you know, jackpot. Right, right. So especially if you have someone assisting you, um, it just helps get, it's not like people are worried like when they hire a social media manager, they're going to lose their voice or they're not going to have their stuff. Well, basically all we do is we take what you have and we just help disperse it all over the place. And so that yes. frees you up. So, and on the flip side on reels, if you aren't doing reels and you absolutely, the thought of it makes you want to like get off social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely. <laughs> don't stress about it. Like find out what you like to do, where your people are and learn how to do that. Like I would love to do reels, but I have a lot of other stuff going on in my life right now. So I've set a goal. Like I'm going to reevaluate, should I do reels in May? And maybe I'll do it sooner, but give yourself permission to be where you need to be. But yes, if you're on reels, know that Facebook is going to start letting you share, which is great news for you. That is great news. I love that. Okay. All right. A lot of information today. Woo. All right. So go back and watch from the beginning. If you didn't watch, we gave a lot of good nuggets today related to your social media usage. But here's the biggest thing. Find your starting point. I always say it to all my clients, find your starting point. If you're a writer, write, and then you can start breaking that down and sh creating posts. If you're a video person and a talker, do a video and then find how you can reuse that content and share it in other places. You don't have to do everything. Stop watching other people and saying, oh my God, I should be everywhere. Just do you as a starting point, and maybe every six months you can try a, something new and right. see how it goes for you. Right. Um, because it's really all about the consistency. So I yes, I started TikTok and now I have to keep it going. Otherwise I won't be consistent. Correct. Correct. And you need <laughs> TikTok so that you can showcase that beautiful book you'll be launching real shortly. So that's right. Ah, next week, the book is launching next week. Um, I don't know if I've shown this before, but I love how this is the it's called, it says not for resale across my eyes, right? Because this, <laughs> this was my proof copy. And when it came in, I'm like, what is that strip across my face? Um, but anyway, yes, this is coming out next week, hopefully Tuesday. So I'm so excited and relieved. It's like having a baby. Like yeah. I just want to get past the pod parts, which I'm almost <laughs> there. Almost there. So, yes. Our, all right, everyone, go have a great Monday. It's a new week. We got another nine inches of snow here, but it doesn't stop me from going on my social media and talking to my clients, and it shouldn't stop you either. So um, go think about your activities, pick your three things for the week, and get them done. And I'll be here. I'll see you tomorrow for Money Talk Tuesday. Thanks, Kim. You bet. Have a great week, everybody. Have a great week. Bye, everyone.